I am Diana. It had been nearly a huh? year since the last time I got out of my room, and I can only live by with my little allowance. Because after many times of breaking up and being pranked by my colleagues, I don't have enough courage to go out there and contact with anyone. Only the comic books now can soothe my hurtful soul. I huh? finished reading another story, the hundredth or two hundredth hmm. story, something like that. I can't remember anymore. The author of this book really pissed me off. He made a character with my name become a villain, Princess Diana Astor. She had everything, except for the intelligence. She was foolish. She made it all the way to fight for a prince which didn't love her. Then she had to pay a dark price for it. If I were Diana... Wait, what? Is it blood? My head aches again. This condition of mine lasts for so long. But I don't even want to go out to the hospital. Princess? Princess, are you all right? <laughs> What's happening? Where am I? Thank God the princess woke up! That stinky slave dared bump into you insolently! Please punish him hard! Why does she always call me princess? Huh? That background is so familiar. I probably saw it somewhere. Princess Diana, are you all right? Please forgive me for not being able to control that insolent slave. He huh? just called me Princess Diana? Is there any way, by somehow, I went to the book and became Princess Diana Astor, the daughter of Count Astor, the wealthiest person in this kingdom? Great! Now I just have to enjoy that wealthy life and don't have to scare off anyone who will bully me. If you're all right, huh? we just quickly come back and prepare mm. for the tea party this afternoon? Huh? Right. Everything will start from mm. this tea party. Diana mm. will meet Prince Basil and fall in love with him, but he only mm. loves her cousin, Selena. Mm? No. It's really hard huh? to have a wealthy life. I won't let it end mm? up so soon like this. That if I don't mm? meet him, the tragedy <laughs> will never happen. Mm. Senya, bring all the huh? gold in the vault here. Mm? Oh, all of the gold? But for what? Today I will go to charity. So, how about the tea party? I won't go there anymore. Right, <gasps> about that servant. <gasps> Buy him back and free him. <gasps> Unbelievable, too much gold. Even if it's just half of a vault. I spent all day to give them away. But it's not over. And the Astor family still has 20 more vaults. Even I knew before about the wealth of Astor family. But I am still astonished when seeing that huge amount of gold. Mm. Princess? Huh? The Count has just come here to see you. What? Why does he come here? That circumstance huh? wasn't mentioned in the comic book. Are huh? there new things happening when I don't follow the storyline? Huh? Maybe he came here to blame me for not attending the tea party and huh? even wasting the gold? What should I do now? Or I just admit first and plan later. Diana! My count! I mean, my father! I'm sorry for not attending the tea party and wasting your money. What did you just say? I'm sorry for... No, before that, what did you call me? Um, my father? That's it. It's been so long since the last time you called me father, my good daughter. And how about... Oh, if you don't want, you don't mm. need to go there. And when mm. you gave away the gold for the citizen, you did a very good <laughs> job. The fame of Astor family will be spread further, mm? and it's good for our other businesses. <laughs> You're really matured, Diana. Your mother in heaven will be proud of you. Yes! Father! <laughs> Alright, it's also late. Get some rest, my daughter. I forget that the Count really pampers mm. Princess Diana. Mm. Maybe that's why she's so uncontrollable. Mm. If so, I can enjoy the life here comfortably. It has been nearly a year since I became a wealthy and powerful princess from an ordinary girl. Mm. For avoiding the prince who can make me or Diana Astor to be exact ruin her life, I have to make myself busy with many different works. 
Thanks to that, I can also make many important <laughs> relationships and businesses, which are really helpful to Astor family. Now, I'm on the way back after attending a diplomatic party at the suburb area. I'm really eager to see the emotion of the Count when I have just brought him a couple of big contracts. What's wrong? Why do you stop? We haven't arrived yet. Who are you? What do you want to do? Who are those people? Why do they want to arrest me? Is this a kidnapping? Princess, they won't harm us, right? Rest assured, maybe they just need money. Hello, my uh -huh. noble cousin. Selena, mm. why you? For a long time, mm. I haven't fought anything with you. Mm. You are about to marry Prince Basil. What do uh. you want from me? It's just because you don't fight for anything with me. Because you became a better person. So I have to do this terrible and evil thing. It's you who has to do those things, not me. Are you crazy, uh. Selena? You really miss a day when you're nothing, mm. right? Right? Although being born in Astor Noble family, I'm just your shadow. I have no huh? power in my hands. I just can show my weakness for being protected by others. Mm. 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 You always fight for everything with me, but huh? not for your need. It's just because huh? you wanted to feel the victory. Huh? <laughs> so I have to get married with a prince, so I will have a position for my own. I have been always worried that you would steal him from me. Luckily, you didn't intend to do that. I was really happy, and I wanted to thank you for that. But easy come, easy go. Recently, Prince Basil started to be cold to me. Instead of that, he's really interested in the good things you've done. He even wanted to cancel his marriage with me. So I need to make you disappear. Then the prince will love only me. You're foolish, Selena. If you harm me, the Count will never let you off. For what? You was accidentally harmed by the robbers. Meanwhile, I'm still ill and bedridden. You're so cunning. You prepared for this day, so you pretended to be sick. Enough talking. Goodbye, my beloved cousin. Just do it. What can it be? I tried everything just to have a peaceful life. Why do the life always be unfair with me like that? <coughs> Capture them all. Huh? Princess, huh? there's someone who came to rescue us. <laughs> Right! Capture um. them all! How dare they kidnap hmm? me and Princess Diana! Still have Selena! Don't let her escape! Let's see how the Count will punish you all! Princess Aster, huh? are you alright? Who are you? Why do you know me? I'm huh? Prince Galvin from the neighboring kingdom. Do you remember the slave that you saved from a year ago? You are that slave? But how could everything be like that? A year ago, I traveled everywhere to discover new things. Unluckily, I was robbed by bad guys. They even sold me to the traffickers. If that day you didn't save me, I'm afraid. Luckily, later when I was on my way to the city, I discovered and stopped hmm? their intentions. Right. In the comic book, I remember that Diana that year punished that slave. Later on, when he was the prince again, he came back and punished Diana, along with Prince Basil. Fortunately, huh? I felt pity and freed him yeah. that time. Then I can escape huh? from this dangerous situation. Thank you for saving me, Prince. I just returned you favor before. Huh? It looks like your hand has been wounded. Huh? Let me help. Mm. Under the protection of Prince Galvin, I could come back home safely. Huh? Hmm. I huh? hand over Selena to Prince hmm. Basil as a favor for her. The yeah. Prince might be gentle to her. If the Count knows it, a daughter maniac like him, I don't want to think about the consequences that she will have to suffer. Princess! Princess, it's not good! Huh? What makes you so panicked? I just heard that the Prince had taken away the noble honor of Selena and sold her as a slave. No way! Quickly stop them! Don't let them sell Selena! I will go and see the Prince to ask. In the end, what kind of person is Prince Basil? Isn't that he is a person who values relationships? Why could he be so cruel? 
Oh, it's my pleasure to be visited by Princess Diana Astor. How could you huh? be so cruel? No matter what happened, Selena hmm? is a noble girl from Astor hmm? family. Are you trying to end up her life while making her become a slave? I don't have any other choice. I just abide by the rules. Hmm. But if you're warm-hearted like that, I will let you decide, okay? Stop talking about it. I have a more important thing to discuss with you. It's about a wedding! What? Which wedding? Sorry for not hmm. having the chance to tell you. Royal hmm? family and Asta family hmm? had an arranged engagement before, huh? but you always hmm. avoided me just because hmm? of that. Selena hmm. had the chance to approach me, but I don't have huh? any feeling with her. Hmm? I just admire you, hmm? my beautiful and talented <gasps> Princess Diana. <laughs> there will be no engagement here hmm? at all. I will never marry you. I have nothing to do here. Goodbye. <laughs> you make me feel hurtful, Princess Diana. Huh? What do you want? Why do you block me? Of course, I want to marry you, and I think you are not allowed to deny Diana. What? A person looks exactly like me? I didn't really want to do this, but rest assured, I just let her replace you until the wedding finish. Anyway, I prefer your real personality. Bring Princess Diana back to her room to get some rest. Remember to watch her out. <gasps> huh? Unbelievable! What the hell is going on with this story? Is there any way that when there is no longer a main villain, the main characters also gradually change? My life from the real life to the book, why is it always bad? I tried to avoid everything. If so, this time I will try facing it! Hmm. <laughs> How stupid <laughs> these guards are! Just a small trick and I could fool them! Hmm? Hmm. Princess Diana, it's me, Galvin. Prince Galvin, why are you hmm. here? Later, I passed by to visit Count Aster by the way I asked him about you, and I knew that you had rushed huh? to the palace. And when you're back, I saw you go with <laughs> Prince Basil. That girl didn't look like she knew me, and she didn't have any wound on her hand, so I knew that's not you. Then I came <sighs> here to see. Basil wants to use that fake one to arrange the marriage between me and him. I don't know why he do that. It's the gold of Aster huh? family. The royal family budget had soon be wasted, so it would be drained soon, but no one knew it. Years ago, the king borrowed us a large amount of gold, and now it's time to pay back. This time, I come here for that. So at first he aimed at Selena because he thought it would be easy to take advantage of her and get the gold. But Selena has no power in the family, so he determined to aim at me. We have to stop him quickly. Lady? What's up? Lady, wake up! Can you hear me? Hmm. What's wrong? Hmm. This is... My room. Is there any way what I have just experienced is just a dream? Hmm? But I feel hmm. that it was real. Are you all right? <gasps> Later, the delivery man huh? discovered that you had been fainted, so I had to enter your room without permission. Who... who are you? Oh, I'm Galvin, a postgraduated doctor. I just moved here, staying huh? next to your room. Galvin? Huh? Book? Hmm. Where is my hmm? comic book? Hey, hold on. You haven't fully recovered. Indeed, that's not a dream. The storyline has been changed. Basil was dethroned and punished. Aster Noble agreed to help the royal family overcome that difficult period. Princess Diana and Prince Galvin fell in love with each other. That's great! What's wrong? I've just realized that avoiding is never the best solution. Then I will go out there and face it. And Galvin, <gasps> thank hmm? you so much. You really hmm. saved my life. <laughs> That magical light seemed to be swapping these two cold and warm hearts of these girls together. They seemed to be very pleased with that. But was it the right choice? Let's find out with Woa Fairy Tales. In a kingdom, there lived a beautiful and strong princess, May. However, she was very bossy, never cared about other people's feelings, and always considered herself the best. 
So everyone in the kingdom <gasps> gradually alienated her. Huh? May, you shouldn't be so grumpy with the maid. We should be forgiving and helping each other. No, father. She dared to disrupt me while I was resting. She deserved appropriate punishment. <laughs> Unlike May, Linda was a good-natured, poor girl, despite sometimes being clumsy. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You've spent a lot of time helping people. I just support you. However, sometimes because of this personality, <laughs> some people often took advantage of Linda to ask for help, making her not have time to do what she liked. That day, while Linda was working hard, she accidentally bumped into Princess May walking by. Huh? Eh? Oh. <laughs> hmm, didn't you see me? Are you blind? You made my dress dirty. I did not mean to. I will wipe the mud off your dress and... I don't need to know. This dress has been ruined by you. You will be punished. Poor that girl. She tried her best to help Princess May clean her dress. But she still refused the girl's kindness and scolded her like that. Yes, I also heard that the girl is Linda, a kind person who is loved by everyone here. I wish Princess May could have a little bit of girlish kindness and vice versa. That would be great. What are you huh? two babbling about? What about my personality? How dare you compare me to this dirty girl? <laughs> they probably just want the princess to become a better person. Who are you? How dare you meddle in my business? I am Rachel. A kind witch who specializes in helping people. I just accidentally overhear everyone's stories going on here. In particular, I know that Princess May has an icy heart, which is showing your cold personality. It makes you repeatedly displease everyone, just like the good girl Linda. She has a warm and enthusiastic heart, but doesn't know how to say no, so she always suffers losses. That's right! I also wish I could be stronger to say no. But I don't know how. Hmm. These days, my father also complains more about my personality. But it's not that simple to change my personality. Ah, didn't you say you're a good witch? So do you have any idea to help me? Of course I do. If you both agree, then I will use magic to help you both become better versions of yourself. And also prevent you both from being criticized or compared. If, if I, I can, can become, become a better, better version, version, I will agree. agree. We, we agree. agree. Very good. Then watch my magic. <laughs> then, Rachel converted May and Linda's hearts to each other. May had a new passionate heart, while Linda had a tougher ice heart. Huh? <laughs> the spell is completed. I hope you do enjoy your new life. Mm, thank you. With the power of Rachel, May and Linda's personalities had been completely different from before. Linda was cold, turning down one offer after another in order to take time for herself. And May was happy, receiving a lot of love and attention from everyone. And May herself also gradually understood that when she cared about others, she would receive good things. May, I see that you have gradually become a kind, helpful princess these days. I am very happy for you. Thank you very mm. much. <laughs> However, this did not last long, as each night, both felt huh? the pain more and more intense in their chest. May decided to invite Linda to clarify this matter. Linda, huh? have you felt a sharp pain in your chest lately? Yes, princess. Huh? But why? Something seems to be wrong with this heart-swapping spell. We need to find Rachel to figure this out. Why? Does it hurt a little that you already want to exchange hearts? Wouldn't you rather have a kind personality and be liked by everyone? No, I really like this warm heart. It has brought me a lot of good things. But I'm so worried about the swap magic that's having a negative effect on our bodies. Huh? So I want to go with you to find Rachel. I don't want to. I have a lot of work to do right now, so I'm leaving. <laughs> Linda, wait! <laughs> However, when May tried to stop Linda from leaving, 
the two suddenly felt a sharp pain in their chest and were inadvertently sucked into the eerie fog. When they woke up, Rachel was smiling sinisterly in front of them with a fire ice power ball in her hand. Rachel, what are you doing? Release us. Release you? How could it be so that easy? Especially when a dark witch like me has been following Princess May all this time. And try to come up with such a perfect heart swapping plan to get more powerful fire and ice powers from the two of you for me. To serve the next ploy to control mm. Princess May's mind and usurp the throne. It will be a long time before I release you two. <laughs> Furthermore, with just a little more strength from you both, I can complete this plan. Now, obediently huh? surrender! Huh? <laughs> Saying that, Rachel suddenly fired magic at Linda to drain the remaining strength of her frozen heart. No! Linda! Rachel, stop it! You should care about yourself as the next person will be you! <laughs> huh? Huh? Will I end up like this? No, I have to save myself. And the poor Linda. After breaking free from the bondage, May quickly used her short sword to rescue Linda. Linda, are you okay? Mm. <gasps> Rachel, stop attacking and drain our power! Well, never will I stop. And if you want to be a hero like that, then I will take the fire power from you first and then collect the ice power from Linda to completely control you. Just as she finished speaking, Rachel attacked May with a fireball, and May still tried to resist. In the part of Linda, while she was weakly collapsing, she witnessed May's courageous fight with Rachel at that time. Princess May, help me. She was right to have doubts about the heart-swapping magic, but I defiantly refused to help. I was too cold and thought only of myself. It hurt not only everyone, but for myself. Furthermore, May is trying to protect me. I can't let her sacrifice. I have to help Princess May. Thinking about it, huh? Linda forced herself to rush to May's place to support her. Despite Rachel's magical flames surrounding the two, they still tried to fight together. Suddenly, a strange light huh? radiated when May and Linda touched each other and helped both hearts become harmonious balancing the power of fire and ice. What happened? Huh? I don't know. Be careful! Huh? 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 Mm. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Turns out this is the combined fire and ice power between the two of us, probably. So let's defeat Rachel! Then, mm. May and Linda <laughs> joined forces against Rachel's attacks. <laughs> With the two girls' united will and determination, Rachel was unable to defeat them and received a painful ending. No! Immediately after defeating huh? Rachel, May and Linda huh? were brought home by magical light. We're home, May? Right. And also after the battle with Rachel, I came to understand that each of us needs to have a harmonious personality. The friendship will help us overcome difficulties, too. And then, May and Linda became good friends with the powerful fire and ice magic inside each other's hearts.